Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>Good morning, everybody, uh, and welcome to the Duck Adventure for October 31st or 30th. I don't even know what day it is. It's Halloween. Um, I, I'm, I, I got a bad day here, guys. Last night, I had a bit of an accident. Um, I, I, I fell. Uh, it was about 2.30 in the morning, and uh, I, was let, I had to let Doug out last night. He wanted to go to the bathroom, and I came outside, and I got locked out of the house, and uh, I, I had my slippers on, and I had to go get the key, my hidden key outside, and I slipped on the ice, and, and I somehow have twisted my three fingers. As you can see the blue there. I don't know if I broke my fingers, but I, I got some cuts. I can't even use my right hand, so we're doing this with the pivot heads. This really screws me, man. I don't know what I'm going to do now with the call. I can't even use my hand. I'm, uh, I got a bit of a, a dilemma right now, so... But I gotta go down first. I'm gonna go down to the dock and see if those otters are waiting for the dock, ducks. I still got a trigger finger. And then we'll come back and let the ducks out. Oh yeah, by the way, the pivot heads, my USB charging cable wasn't plugged in right. It's got a, there's something wrong with the plug. So now that they're charged, they're working. All right. Oh man, I can barely even hang on to the gun. I definitely couldn't shoot the shotgun, I can tell you that much. What a gorgeous morning. Oh, we've had critters down here today. Look at the little footprints. They look like raccoon. Ah, oh, no. There are otters. The otters have been on the dock. Look at that. So we definitely had, uh, the otters came down the dock. I don't know if they came back to the pen, the yard this morning. Honestly, guys, I, I slept in because I was up from 2.30 till 5.30 in pain. And I, tr I was laying in bed trying to go back to sleep and my hand was just pounding. And now it's, it's actually, the pain's worse than it was last night. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hope maybe a couple days. I, I don't know. I know if it's if it's broken, I'm screwed, and if it's sprained, I could be just as screwed. So it could take a long time for the sprain to heal. And I, I know what I think was is that I didn't even. It was it wasn't even ice. It was just frost. It was just slippery enough with the slippers that I went and my hand got twisted and cut. I don't see anything down here. It would actually be really easy to see this morning the way the glass is. It would be a perfect morning to do a, a lake rush. Unfortunately, I can't even hold the camera. I can barely even, uh, well, I'll just show you. This is how I'm holding the gun. i got my fingers. <laughs> That's it. Two fingers. I can't even use my three fingers on my right hand. I'm right-handed. Man, I'm so screwed right now. Ah. <sighs> I don't 
don't see anything. Uh oh. Alright, I see ripples in the water. Right at the mouth of the creek. My hand's getting cold because I can't put a glove on it. It hurts so bad. All right, we got ripples in the water at the mouth of the creek. They're under the water. I don't see them anywhere though, and I know they can't stay into the water that long. Oh guys, I, I can't hunt it. I'm out of commission on the hunting. Um, we're going to lose a duck to the otters is bottom line. I gotta get the ducks out of the pen. They've been in there all night. It's it's like it's cold. They need to get down to the water. And I gotta figure out how I'm gonna pull this cull off with no hand. Well, all right, let's go and let the ducks out here because I uh, I can I keep seeing ripples in the water over there. Well, we'll shoot off a grenade. It's the best I can do right now for the ducks. It feels so bad that I'm not 100%. This is really, really making me upset right now, guys. I'm telling you, I'm not liking this at all. I don't see any ripples in the water from the explosion. I know they're here. Unless, you know, they got a, a duck yesterday and that's good enough for the two of them for a couple days. Uh, we'll see when we let the ducks out if they come down on the lake or not. All right, everyone. Let's get these ducks out and... Oh, I don't believe this. Oh, I don't believe that little pigeon is still here. <laughs> That's too funny. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to give you a shot here. There's that little pigeon. She stayed the night with the ducks. Or he, I don't know what it is. Oh, there's two ducks over there. Wild ducks. Two of them. They got black heads. They're hanging with the ducks. We got lots of wildlife here this morning. My hand's just frozen here because I don't have a glove on it. Come on, ducks, let's go straight to the lake.
thing is, last night, Doug, uh, you know, he woke me up there. At, it was about 2.30. I heard him scratch, and I thought he was, you know, sleeping and kicking the wall or something. And he wanted out, and I got up, you know, and came out here, and he had turned out he had diarrhea. I don't know how, what he, you know, I don't know what's going on there. That made no sense. And uh, I, I went out in the deck with him to make sure that, you know, he didn't go out and run around the yard because I didn't want to have to wash his feet off at 2.30 in the morning and wake myself up even more. Then, uh, you know, he came back to the door with me and I turned around and slipped on the deck on the frost with my slippers. And, uh, <laughs> well, I actually, I, w I turned around, I went to open the, hand, the door and that's when it was locked. And so then I went and turned around again and that's when I slipped. Uh, going to get the key to open the door. And it did hurt like a bugger last night. But oh man, the pain today. I gotta go. I'm gonna, I, I, going to the hospital just sucks. Because they, uh, you know, basically kiss away about five hours of your day to get a simple x ray on your hand to tell you if it's broken or sprained. But I gotta go. I gotta know what's going on here. Because this is, uh, Oh, the pain is crazy. It's like the blue there. That's the part that's got me worried right there is that blue. The bruising in my hand. Oh. And the last thing I need right now is to be gimped. Absolute last thing. I can barely walk here. I'm, uh... And of course, it's getting colder and, uh, this is not the climate to have this many ducks when it's this cold. This is, uh, now it's a lot of work. So if the longer this drags out the colder weather now, my workload is gonna go through the roof. And the expense. Because if they're not at the lake, because once the lake freezes over and they're in the yard, this is, uh, I, I, gotta, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do. I don't know, I got some serious thinking to do, guys. It's really, uh, it's on the verge of ice down here. I just hope they're wrong and winter doesn't come early. I really, really, uh, <laughs> I'm asking the weather guy up the stairs there to send us a nice warm on November. Give me time to get my hand better. I gotta, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is a, this is the first time in the Duck's Adventure I'm actually, I, I'm a loss. I'm screwed, I don't know. You know, taking care of the Ducks this summer hurt would have been a different story than this. This is a, this is, this is down to the wire, man. I like, I, I need my hand, I'm the butcher. I can't swing an ax, I can't use knives. I can't even handle a duck. I can't even grab a duck. I can't even put a glove on my hand. Oh, this is a not a good morning. Well, guys, I like to tape more for you, but I gotta go and uh, deal. I gotta go to the hospital. I gotta get X-rays and find out what's going on here. I gotta, I gotta find out how screwed I am. Oh, boys. I'm sorry for being such a depressing uh, episode this morning, but it's a depressing day. Just having this happen to me, it's like, you know, I'm so happy that Doug didn't have an accident in the house, you know, and he woke me up to tell me he wanted out. But, you know, on the other side of the coin, I would have rather clean up an accident than do this right now. And the thing is, I, I wouldn't even be mad at him if he would have done diarrhea in the house. I would have just said, oh, you're going to upset tummy. It's not your fault. So the dog does what he's supposed to do, and I end up hurting myself. Well, guys, I got to go. Honestly, I'm, uh, I'm really sorry about this this morning, but I got to go to the hospital. I, uh, and I haven't had a coffee yet because I was up all night. I just got up, and I realized, oh, boys, it's 8.30. Because I was laying in bed and I couldn't get back to sleep. I just was tossing and turning in excruciating pain. 
And the crazy part is the best time to go to the hospital for an x-ray is 6.30 in the morning. Just when I went, to, just when I actually fell back to sleep. <laughs> you know, that's when you can get in and out quick. All right, good duckies. I can't, uh, I'm not gonna harass you to leave. I gotta go and deal with uh, my hurt hand. Look at this little pigeon, I can't believe it. This thing is staying with the ducks. I don't think it can fly. I think it's got a feather problem. The fact that it's hanging around with the ducks. Huh, crazy. Oh, little Muscovy, you're in rough shape. And the ducks are going crazy down there this morning. Like it's, I, the, the, you wouldn't believe how loud they are. It would have been such an awesome morning uh, down there on the lake. The glass, you know, the water, and there's no winds or the echo. But the echo I'm hearing here, the mic on the pivot heads isn't that good, but the echo that I'm hearing just here, you know, we're like, you know, 400 feet away from the lake. Missed an awesome morning out there. Ah, oh, damn. All right, guys, I'm just walking into the pen here. Uh, before I went to the house, the two ducks are still here, these wild ducks. Oh, I forget the name of these ones. Oh, that's bizarre they didn't go with the... Uh, look, look at this. I've never seen a duck like that before. It's too bad we didn't have it with the... Uh, the big camera. They're actually really pretty. They got a black neck and head. And, but the fact that I'm standing here talking and they're just standing there, like they're not even, uh, unless they're, they think because, you know, this is the duck place and that, uh, you know, nothing to worry about here. It must be safe. There's a whole bunch of other ducks here. <laughs> oh man, I'm so screwed.